Let's solve x. We solve x by squaring both sides. x minus 1 is equals to this expression all squared. Let's FOIL. First, we multiply these, so we get negative x. Double it is negative 2x. And last, this times itself is positive x squared over 4. Now, we could do a variety of things, but why don't we just multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of this denominator. So we have 4x minus 4 equals 16 minus 8x plus x squared. We'll throw everything to the right. So we have x squared, negative 8x minus 4x is minus 12x. And we have 16 plus 4 is plus 20. And so the question now is, can we factor? What times what becomes x? It's x times x is x squared. And what times what is 20? It adds to be negative 12. Let's try 10 and 2. So 10 and 2, negative, negative. Indeed, negative 10 times negative 2 is 20. And they add to be negative 12. So therefore, our potential solutions are x equals 10 and x equals 2. Now we should check for extraneous roots. When x is 10, the left side is 10 minus 1, all square rooted, which is square root of 9. Left side is equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. And the right side, when x equals 10, the right side equals 2 minus 10 over 2, which is 5, which is negative 3. So left side does not equal to right side, so we reject this. Now let's try x equals 2. Left side is square root of 2 minus 1, so left side equals the square root of 1, which is 1. And the right side would now be 2 minus 2 over 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So left side equals right side, so indeed x equals 2 is valid. Let's solve this expression. Let's begin by trying to square both sides, but first we'll throw the 3 over, because now we have a nice binomial. We square both sides, we get 2x plus 2 equals this whole thing squared. So 2x plus 2 is equals to x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's throw everything to the right. We have x squared minus 8x, 9 minus 2 is positive 7. And now we try to factor. What times what is 7? 7 and 1. And so therefore, what times what is 0? We have x equals 7 or 1. But we need to check for extraneous roots. When we plug in 7 into here, we get 14 plus 2. So the left side would be the square root of 16, which is 4. But there's also a plus 3 here. So 4 plus 3 would be a 7. And the right side is also a 7. So we're going to say this is a correct root. It's a correct solution. Now let's try x equals 1. When you plug in a 1 here, we have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So I'm going to say left side equals 5. And the right side we just said is 1. So left side does not equal to right side, so we need to reject this root. So here is the correct answer.